In this video, I'm going to show you how to retouch skin in Photoshop using frequency separation. I'm going to start with a photo that I've already edited in Lightroom and send it to Photoshop to retouch the skin. Move down to your thumbnail, right click, click edit in, and then edit in Photoshop. It's going to open Photoshop for you. If this is something that you plan on doing often, I would recommend creating an action so you don't have to repeat the initial steps every time you do this process. So you're going to go up to this little play button here and click new action. Name it frequency separation and then hit record. Now you're going to duplicate the background layer twice using control or command J. Name the top layer textures and the layer below tones. Now turn the textures layer off and select your tones layer. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now drag the radius up until the textures start to disappear. Then click OK. Now make the textures layer visible. Select that layer. Go to image and apply image. Make sure the layer is set to the tones layer, the blending mode to subtract. Make sure the scale is two and the offset is 128. Click OK. Now set the blending mode for the textures layer to linear light. Now you can stop your action. To play back through these steps next time, select the action that you just created and click the play button below. Now select the tones layer and click on the lasso tool. Now you want to make sure the selection has a pretty decent feathering. Uh, this can vary depending on the resolution of your image. You're going to draw a selection around an area of the face. Go to blur, Gaussian blur, drag the radius up until any blotchiness starts to disappear and then click OK. Press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now continue to draw selections around areas of the face that need smoothing. Go back up to filter and apply the same blur from the previous selection. Now this blur is only affecting the tones, not the details. We'll take care of any other imperfections on the textures layer. Continue to repeat this process until all blotchy areas of the skin have been blurred. Now, click on the textures layer and grab your clone stamp tool. Set the opacity down to around 50. Alt click on a smooth layer of skin and just start painting over any unwanted marks or spots. Continue to go back and select a smooth layer of skin each time you paint on a new area. And again, just continue to repeat this process until everything looks good to you. You can also use the spot healing brush on this layer as well. I might actually get rid of these few strands of hair along the face here. I'm going to alt click on a smooth layer of skin and just start painting away those hairs. Continuing to select new areas of skin each time so it looks natural. Get rid of a few more imperfections here. That looks pretty good. Now alt click on the background layer to hide all the other layers to see the before and after. And there we go, that looks pretty good. Now to send this back to Lightroom, I'm just going to use Command S to save the image. 
And then I'm going to command tab and switch back over to Lightroom. And Lightroom will automatically import the image. And from here, you can see the before and after again. You have the original raw edit and the Photoshop file you just saved. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks.